Trump family members and Father God and a Baron Trump, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, including all the grandchildren, Father God, and the Trump family members. I mean, Trump family, <laughs> Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, that you are releasing contentment upon Donald J. Trump and his family, despite of the turmoils of ill treatments that they go through, Father, despite of the persecutions that they go through with others and the undeserved, unjust hatreds that they deal with with other people. With other haters coming against them, Father God, and saying so many ill things against them, Father God, mean, cruel things against them, and doing mean and cruel things against them everywhere in this world, Father God, and even in America, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father God, for your blessings of healings, Father God, upon Donald J. Trump, Melania Trump, Baron Trump, and all the Trump family members, Father God. That you will heal them deep inside their souls and their hearts and their minds, Father God, from any type of abuse and ill treatments, Father God, from others, the injustice and the ill treatments and the cruelties of hatred. Father God, that they do not deserve, Father God, that the Trump family does not deserve and that Donald J. Trump does not deserve, Father God, for the many mean things that's being said about him and to him, Father God, everywhere in this world and everywhere in America, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, from mean spirit to people, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will heal Donald J. Trump from those words, Father God, from the undercurrent part of his heart and soul, not that he's walking around feeling like an ugly duck or feeling like um, a bad person or feeling, you know, dethroned about what somebody said about him, Father God, like, not like he's moved by that, Father God, but I'm just praying, Father God, for you to heal him deep inside his soul, that none of those words will never take no root in him of the evil words that's spoken against him and to him, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, or any evil word that's spoken against any of his family members, um, the Trump family members, Father God, and that you will heal Melania Trump because she and seen her husband go through a lot and Baron Trump father he has seen his father go through a lot and I'm sure Baron Trump hear the things that people say to him about his own dad and and he he's bombarded about all that father God and then he gets ill treatment as well so you will heal Baron Trump father God for the ill treatments that he has seen his family go through his dad go through his mom go through him go through father God from any type of ill treatment and mean cruelties and bullyings, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father God, that you, if they need to be healed physically, that you will keep them healed and heal their bodies, heal their minds and their souls and personalities, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that none of these ill treatments will never take any effect in any part of their bodies or their souls and their minds or personalities or temperaments or wills. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and I ask that you will cover Donald J. Trump and Melania Trump and Baron Trump and all the Trump family members, Father God, spirit, souls, and bodies in their lives and their minds and their brains, Father God, their personalities and wills and intellects and thought patterns on every conscious level and their moods and temperaments and emotions, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. And I ask, Father God, that you will shield them, Father God, with your comforting hand. And that you will surround them with your peace, Father, and your love and your kindness and your contentment and serenity, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. And I pray, Father God, that you would just give them a gift and blessing of your strength and your power and your anointing, Father God, 
upon Donald J. Trump and his wife Melania Trump and Baron Trump and all the Trump family members, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will strengthen them, Father God, by your mighty hand, by your power and your anointing, and by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, during this year of 2019, the entirety of this year, 2019, Father God, I pray that you will give Donald J. Trump and his wife, Melania Trump and Baron Trump and all the Trump family members, Father God, strength to endure and persevere, Father God, to keep kicking, to keep moving, Father God, despite of the many haters that come against them, Father God, that you will strengthen them, Father God, to get up, Father God, and keep moving, moving forward to you, moving forward to Jesus Christ, Father God, moving forward to the promises of your word and to submit, Father God, unto the kingdom of your righteousness, Father God, and to your kingdom way of doing things, Father God. And to submit, Father God, into trusting into your son, Jesus Christ, and holding on to Jesus Christ and grabbing on to the garment of Jesus and trust, Father God, and never letting Jesus Christ go, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that Donald J. Trump and his wife, Melania Trump and Baron Trump and all the Trump family members, Father God, would draw closer to Jesus and near you, Father God, and draw Closer to submitting to you and giving their lives over to you and letting Jesus Christ be the Lord and reign in their lives and in their hearts, Father God, in every area of their lives and submitting to your principles of your word, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name and submitting to your right way of doing things and to your rulership and leadership and the rulership of Jesus Christ, Father God. And submitting to the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name and your guidance and direction and your wisdom, Father God. And your understanding that they will lean not into their own understanding, but lean into your understanding, Father God. And that they will be God pleasers and not people pleasers, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for directing the paths of Donald J. Trump and presidency, Father God, for showing him what to do and what not to do, who to be around and who not to be around, Father God, who to help and who not to help, who to talk to and who not to talk to, who to confide in and who not to confide in, Father God, where to go and where not to go, Father God. And what to handle and what not to handle, Father God, that he will give all his cares unto you, Father God, and cast all his cares into you, Father God, because you are the only one that can take care of every political situation and every non-political situation that Donald J. Trump is faced with on a daily basis, including today, Heavenly Father God. So I thank you for giving him these new year blessings of 2019 and beyond 2019, Father God, for Donald J. Trump and his family, the Trump family members, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, I give you glory and honor to you. And I ask, Father God, that you will cover and seal these prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. And I thank you for answering these prayers in Donald J. Trump's life and his family's life and the Trump family's life. Father God, with your grace and your mercy and your kindness, Father God, and thank you for bestowing your love and your kindness upon Donald J. Trump, Father God, and his family. Because you love Donald J. Trump forever, Father God, no matter how many people are hating upon him and speaking all manners of evil against Donald J. Trump and his family members, Father God. You love Donald J. Trump and all the Trump family members, Father, and you love Melania, you love Baron Trump, you love Don Jr., Father God, you love Vanessa, Father God, you love Ivanka, you love Jared, Father God, you love Tiffany, you love Eric, and all the Trump family members. Members, Father God, 
You love them unconditionally, genuinely, everlastingly, Father God. And you are all there, always there for Donald J. Trump. You will never leave him nor forsake him. Father, no matter how many people betray him, you are never going to betray Donald J. Trump ever. And you're never going to leave him ever, never. Nor any of the Trump family members, Father God, because you are faithful and reliable and trustworthy, Father God, to Donald J. Trump and the Trump family members, Father God, forever ever and ever and ever in Jesus Christ's name. And you're not going to sit up and lie to Donald J. Trump and play games with him either. Father God, because you are God of truth and there is nothing but truth in you. And it's impossible for you to lie. Father God, and all things are possible for you to do in Donald J. Trump's life and the Trump family members life. Father God, because it's nothing too hard for you to do. Father God. And I put my trust in you, father God, to, cause I'm one of those who dare to believe for you to do the impossible in Donald J. Trump's life. Father God, and in all the Trump family members lives in Jesus Christ's name and in the lives of your people. People, and in my life as well, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So I give you glory and honor, Father God. Thank you for loving Donald J. Trump and his wife, Melania and Baron Trump and all the Trump family members, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, for putting your blessings, releasing your blessings and your love and your grace and your mercy and your tender kindnesses upon Donald J. Trump. And his family, no matter how many people kick their heels against him, Father God, you are for Donald J. Trump forever in, his, in the Trump family members. No matter how many haters come against Donald J. Trump and the Trump family members, Father God, you are for Donald J. Trump and all the Trump family members and your four Melania, your four Baron, Father God, and all the Trump family members and the Trump grandchildren and the Trump Children, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I thank you, Father God, for helping Donald J. Trump and his family to stand up for your righteousness, to stand up for your kingdom way of doing things, Father God, no matter how many people spit upon them, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, to be strong in you, Lord, and in the power of your might, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Hallelujah, Father God. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray Psalm 18 over you wonderful Trump family members, you wonderful souls out there. Psalm 18. Uh, and then I'm going to be praying uh, Psalm uh, 121 and Psalm 23 over you wonderful Trump family members. So Trump, over you Donald J. Trump. So I'm going to start now. Psalm 18. Thanksgiving for deliverance by God. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Father, I thank you that Donald J. Trump and the Trump family members will love you, O Lord, Jehovah Yah. You are, Father God, the strength of Donald J. Trump and his family members, Father God, of the Trump family members, Father God. You, Jehovah Yah, you, Lord, are the rock. You are Donald J. Trump's rock and all the Trump family members rock. And, and Father, you are their fortress. You are their deliverer. You are the fortress and the deliverer of all the Trump family members and of Donald J. Trump. And you are their God, Father God. You are their strength. And whom, Father God, will Donald J. Trump and the Trump family members will trust, Father God. You are their buckler and the horn of their salvation, Father. And their high, their high tower, Father God. You are the high tower, Donald J. Trump and his family and their salvation. And Donald J. Trump and his family will call upon you, Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall Donald J. Trump and his family be saved from their enemies. The sorrows of death compassed Donald J. Trump and his family and the floods of ungodly men made Donald J. Trump and his family afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed Donald J. Trump and his family about and the snares of death prevented Donald J. Trump and his family. 
and Donald J. Trump's fam- family's distress and Donald J. Trump's uh, distress. Donald J. Trump and Donald J. Trump's family call upon you, Lord Jehovah Yah, and cry unto their God, which is you, Jehovah Yah. And you heard the voice of Donald J. Trump and the Trump family members out of your temple, Father God. And their cry came up before you, Father God, even unto your ears, Father God. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also for the hills moved and were shaken because, Father God, you were wrath. You were wrath, Father God. There went up a smoke out of your nostrils and fire out of your mouth, devoured, Father God, and coals were kindled by it. You bowed the heavens also and came down and